What's up? I sent out a mercy call earlier today because my squeak is back and it is bad. So brought it in, lots of plowing to do. I need to see if I can't get something figured out here. The brakes actually look pretty good. So I'm gonna dig in here just a little bit and see if there's anything I can see. See, you can see those are looking pretty okay in there. I might rip off the castle nut there. I mean, rotors look fine. Maybe I'll re-grease there. It looks like there's still grease there, man. Yeah, these look really good. So, I don't know what the squeaking is. I'm gonna inspect really close and see if I can see any spots that look like they're rubbing or something or see if my cylinders are seized or something. I don't know. Trying to figure this out because it's kind of embarrassing driving around on this thing squealing so bad. I gotta go get gas too, and I don't really want to go to the gas station and sound like I got a siren rolling. Anyway, let's dig in, see what I can find. All right, just consulted with Grand Jefe Higginson, Rodney, and these are. These are clean. We're pretty sure these are the ones that we replaced. So I'm just going to clean up these brakes up. We're thinking the squeak might actually just be the brake pads a little hitting the drum or the brake shoes hitting the drum a little too much. So while I'm in here, I'm going to brake clean, just clean them up a bit. Might as well. Gosh, that's looking pretty in there, really. Go hit that other side real quick. All right, I kind of want to explain what I did because I learned more about adjusting drum brakes again. This is the second set, although the other one was on Jenna's car, but get this plug in maybe. Maybe we can get this plug in. This is the little adjuster hole plug thingy. Man. Why does that want to go in? Anyway, I'll get that in a second. Wanted to explain to you what I did. The little brake adjusters, and these have two cylinders. So. What I did is started on the first one, ended up putting the tire on. I realized I was trying to do it without the tire on and realized that's wrong. So I put the tire on. Uh, well, I loosened both of them all the way. So they were as loose as it could go. Put the hub back on, put the tire on. And then I started twisting the adjusters the opposite direction to tighten them up. And as soon as they kind of stopped turning then you could turn the wheel and you could hear if you listened really carefully you could hear rubbing so then I backed it off five clicks I think Rodney told me I think that's what he did so backed it off five clicks went to the one cylinder on the other side got it tight backed it off till I could hear it rubbing backed it off five clicks did that on both tires and just tested the brake and that Grabs really good and I hear no rubbing at all. So I am crossing my orange fingers that this thing is gonna stop squeaking. So I don't know, I gotta go hook the plow back up and do some more plowing because it's snowing like crazy out there. So I really need to get this buttoned up, but squealing or not, I'm gonna start plowing again. Mr. Plow is back on the road. Oh, look at that old winch my dad put on. I don't know if I've told you, this is my actually my dad's four-wheeler I inherited when he passed away. Um, I replaced a bunch of the plastics and stuff on it. And I probably will never get rid of this four-wheeler until I pass it on to a kid or they get rid of it or whatever. But hopefully we can keep this thing fixed up and nice for a long time. It's been a good wheeler. Awesome plow. So... 
Time for the test drive. I'll report back how this does as soon as I'm done. Okay, we ready to go for a ride? I think I'll take you on a little test drive. I'll I'll drive it and get it warmed up and all that stuff. There's the plow. Dropped it off to work on it. Now I gotta go dig it back out. Ooh, I can hear I can hear wheelers and stuff going. Oh good, it's snowing, so the little thing I got on my camera that's not waterproof will get ruined. That'll be sweet. All right. Let's go for a drive. Eh, maybe I'll put you on my phone. I don't want to buy another camera. Here we go. I'll take her around a little bit and report back. All right. Quick update. About 40 minutes in to plowing. And no squeak. How did I go so long without thinking about the brake? I do not know, but whatever.